Hi, my name is Evelyn Falwell, and today I'm going to show you how to make from our Take and Make Craft Kit one of these cool, light up holiday gift cards. Included with the kit is a pre printed cardstock paper circuit template, a 2032 3 volt coin cell battery, about two to three feet of conductive copper tape, four LEDs piece of overhead transparency, some assorted cardstock shapes, and the paper clip that attached the bag to the template. You also need some supplies of your own home. Uh, those include some clear tape, a pair of scissors, a sharp knife, and some drawing supplies. If you look at the LED, you'll notice that it looks like a little bulb with two wires, also known as leads, emerging from it. One of the wires is longer than the other. The longer of the two leads is known as the anode, or positive lead. The shorter of the two is called the cathode, or negative lead. Electricity can only flow in one direction through this part, from the anode to the cathode, or from positive to negative. We call components which work in only one direction polarized. The battery is also polarized. On the top of the coin cell battery, you should see a plus sign. This is the positive side of the battery. The negative side is not marked. We can create a simple circuit and test our LEDs in the process by connecting the positive side of the LED to the positive side of the battery and the negative side of the LED to the negative side of the battery. The easiest way to do this is to take your battery and insert it between the two leads of the LED with a longer lead on top and the shorter lead on the rough underside. It should light up. If it doesn't, try flipping the LED around and reinserting the battery. You should test out all your LEDs. You can also experiment. Try putting more than one LED on. What happens? Included in your kit is a couple of feet of conductive copper tape. Conductive means in this case that you can use it to transmit electricity. We're going to create a circuit to provide power to light up our LEDs and use them as decoration for a fun light up wintry card. So we're going to take our tape and we're going to stick it to the cardstock following the pattern laid out here. This pattern is just like the ones used in conventional circuits, just a lot bigger, and we call these copper patterns traces. Our circuit consists of two traces, one of them leading from the negative side of the battery to the negative sides of our LEDs, and the other from the positive side of the battery to the positive side of the LEDs. It's important that these traces never touch. If they do, this will cause a short circuit and drain the battery prematurely. In general, it's better to use one strip of copper tape per trace if you can, removing the backing as you go and sticking it down and folding it to get around corners. Many smaller strips may look neater, but can cause failures in the circuit if they're not joined properly and are usually not worth it. Take your time and go slow. After you've got your traces all laid down, go ahead and cut off the edge of the cardstock. And fold up the corner of the card along the dotted line. Place the battery on the dotted circle with a positive side or plus side facing up. Now we're gonna use our clear tape and tape down just the edges of the battery. If you cover the entire thing in tape, it will not work because the traces cannot make contact with the battery. We're gonna tape down just on either side of it, leaving an open portion in the middle. Now, when you press down on the folded over portion, electricity will flow through your circuit. You're going to take one of your LEDs and splay out the two leads in opposite directions, making sure to remember which one is longer. I often find it really helpful to make a small mark on the lead that is longer or the positive lead with a permanent marker.
I like to be able to test my LEDs as I go to make sure that I put them on the right way. So I use the paper clip to hold down the flap to the battery so that the circuit is always on. Make sure you have a good connection and that the copper tape is being securely held to the battery. Okay, so now you're going to take your LED and hold it across the two traces you've just made with the longer the two leads on the positive trace and the shorter the two on the negative trace. Hold it to the trace with your fingers. Don't worry, the amount of electricity that the battery can put out will not harm you. The LED should light up. If it doesn't work, check your traces. Are they touching anywhere? Are they broken? Does the negative trace go underneath the battery? Does the positive trace touch the battery and not the tape holding the battery down? Is the battery flap securely held by the paper clip? Carefully inspect your circuit, and if trouble still persists, remove and test out the battery again with another LED. Now we're going to attach the LEDs to the traces at the locations indicated on the template by using the remaining copper tape. I find that it works best to have the leads cross the copper traces and tape each of the LEDs down to the trace with a small piece of copper tape. I then use clear tape to secure the entire thing to the card. Once you have your first LED in place, repeat the process of taping each of your LED's leads to the appropriate trace, either positive for the longer leg or negative for the shorter leg, making sure that they each light up as you secure them. Congratulations! You've just completed the electronics portion of this craft. Okay, now for the creative part. You can decorate this card however you want, but we've included some supplies to make a card with a neat pop-up backlit effect. The first thing that we need to do is to cut out these areas here so that the LEDs can protrude from the front of the card. You're going to start by folding the card in half along the dotted line. Use your knife for another sharp implement to poke holes in the top part of the card in the dotted circles so that the LEDs can protrude from the front of the card. Fold the card over to make sure the LEDs do in fact poke out of these holes. In the kit, there are several pre-cut shapes, trees, snowmen, mittens, etc. We're going to take these and we're going to put them in front of the LEDs, but raise them up slightly above the LEDs by making some pop-up supports out of the strip of clear acetate in your kit, which is really easy to lose. Um, Maybe fell on the floor. Ah, here it is. Okay, so we're going to be making these strips in pairs to evenly support the cutout shape. To make them both the same length, you're going to want to fold the acetate strip in half and cut them both at the same time. I made most of mine about three quarters of an inch long, but feel free to improvise. You're going to want to take these and fold them into pairs of Z shapes. I did this first by folding them in half and then folding one side in of the half in again in the opposite direction. We're going to take this and we're going to stick it to the back of our cardboard sheet and we're going to do this in pairs so that it's evenly supported. You then want to apply a bit of tape to them so that you can stick one side of them to the back of the shape and the other to the card. You want to tape both supports on so that they're the same height and kind of evenly spaced out towards the edges of the cardstock shapes. After you got both supports in your shape, you can then go ahead and apply the tape that you're going to use to attach it to the card. Trim off any excess tape or tape that would show from the front. Take your cardstock shape and stick it down to the card, covering one or more of the LEDs. When you turn the LEDs on, you should see a neat backlit effect. Okay, so you can do this for all your shapes, overlapping them as you please. I added some other elements, little stars and snowflakes after I got my shapes on there, so feel free to get creative with this. Now you've made yourself a fun, light-up wintry card. Congratulations on your paper circuit. Did you like this craft? Be sure and show us what you made. We're on Instagram at MCPL Team, or join the library's new team Discord and share it with us there. Thanks. Bye.